I love micro shell forming because you can use very thin material. When I finished graduate school, I couldn't afford the normal thickness of material that most metalsmiths work in. Most people worked in jewelry scale with 24 or 22 gauge material, and I was working with 24 and 26 gauge material. And so I had to develop a technique that allowed me to safely and beautifully move that material. I like to use this technique because it really allows me to develop very naturalistic forms and nature is very big in my work. It's something that I've always used as a reference. So it has four components. There's that micro spiculum we just made as a stamen. And we have three floral forms that I call floral forms. And they're one encapsulating the next. The interesting thing about micro shell forming is that it will take very flat, non-dimensional work that can be very boring and make it very exciting by adding 3D to it. People don't realize that metal has a lot of plasticity to it. It's very fluid and that it's very easily manipulated with hammers and stakes if you know how to contact the material and how to hold it and manipulate it on the stake with the hammer. I hope everyone enjoys this video workshop and I hope it gives them the opportunity to explore micro shell forming and to investigate large scale shell forming and learn how to use that material to give their work three dimensions. Every metalsmith should know how to move metal and how to pull metal from a flat non-dimensional piece into three dimension. It makes for better jewelry. It makes for more interesting contemporary work.